Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Greg and welcome back to the channel. So in this week's project, we are going to build a mirror. In fact, we are going to build 20 mirrors. So we recently got a big project for one of our clients, not too far from us, where we had to do the full turnkey solution for them. We basically had to build the mirrors. Uh, we done some tables, we done floating bulkheads, we done shelving, the reception desks. And it's for a very good friend of mine. And they opened a new salon recently. So in this video, I am going to show you how we built our mirrors and the specific wood species we are using is called rubber wood. It's basically, it's got the same texture as oak. It's just much cheaper. So it's a very good option if you want to have a very good expensive looking wood, but not paying too much for it. And obviously when cutting all my pieces of wood, I need to take in consideration that I'm not building one frame. I'm literally going to build 20 mirror frames. So as you can see, I used one of my workbenches as a stop mechanism. So I can basically have like a production line uh, where I can cut all my pieces of wood to size. And as you can see, it's working perfectly there. And I literally had to cut 40 of these pieces of wood to size. Now I know I'm going to get a lot of comments as you can see right there. I <laughs> actually bought a blade that's slightly smaller for my machine. And I'm actually too lazy to go to the shop and change it. So as you can see there, I just have to push it a little bit to cut the last bit of wood to size. Moving to the assembly table, I had to modify one of my workbenches uh, to assemble my frames together. And by using a little bit of wood glue, just to give me a very strong bond, and then making sure it's 100% square. You see I've got a little bit of wood timber inside there to make sure my wood is square and then nailing everything together will give me a very good bond. And I actually had to remove my finger there because it happened a few times where the nail split out and you can actually get hurt by doing this. So make sure you remove your fingers from uh, when you're going to use the nail gun. Now it's just basically repeating this step uh, 40 times <laughs> over and over and over, uh, waiting a full day for it to dry. And then as you can see what I'm doing here, I had to build a jig basically to make sure that all my frames are exactly square. And I actually had to nail uh, small chipboard blocks to my workbench so I can remove it later on. Testing my jig. And as you can see on the right hand side of the screen, <laughs> I already built like 15 of them. Uh, so at this stage, I was uh, a pro building these frames. And just repeating the same process over and over, making sure... Um, my mirror frames are 100% square. Now for your mirror to actually sit flush at the back of your mirror frame, you need to countersink the back of your frame so your mirror can sit flush. And I actually had to drill a hole in my workbench here using my work cordless drill to fasten my router from the underside so I can basically build a router table where I can continuously use the same step um, to countersink 20 mirror frames. And this actually worked very well. Well, I've got a hole in my workbench now, but this is obviously a sacrificial superwood sheet that I can obviously replace uh, with 
in a few months or whatever the case may be as you can see i am going to start with the first mirror frame and just basically repeating the step uh, 20 times over and over so you'll see in the next pictures to come i only took some pictures on site how we assembled the mirrors to the frame and we used a backing board to make sure your mirror is not going to fall out now before i'm going to leave you with the final product you will see the first couple of shots is going to be of the mirrors we built and then we've got a continuous video of the complete turnkey solution we've done for the salon i hope you guys enjoyed this video until next week before you go make sure you subscribe and like this video cheers guys